Let's continue. Yeah, let's go. We will also <laughs> be called as a, a fisherman to catch men, right? So we have uh, uh, the kind of great honor to call the spirit and uh, attach it, the spirit to God. So that is kind of we are the messenger. We have to deliver the word of God to those around us with the wisdom, right? Not uh, vainly. So, hmm. Without wisdom, uh, it is not easy for us to glory in God, to boast of God. So when we boast of our God and our uh, Lord Jesus, and then we should uh, decorate <laughs> with the holiness, the beauty of holiness. We have to, uh, we can, we will be able to uh, introduce our Lord in the beauty of holiness. That's why we need to read the word of God. We should be armed first that we may uh, effectively, wonderfully deliver our Lord to our neighbor. So when we catch men, we have to obey his voice. When we obey his voice, it means when we live according to the word written in the Bible, that it means we obey his voice. So we have to live according to the word written in the Bible. That is God's message and that is God's commandment. So when we obey the word of God in the Bible, then we will catch the huge amount of fish, the spiritual fish, spiritual, yeah. So we can be used like this. When? They had brought their boat to land. They left everything and followed him. How they react to Jesus' word and then Jesus' uh, symbolic message. He showed how to have a result, good result. When we have the kind of purpose of a business, so when we listen to his voice, we will have a, uh, the result beyond our expectation. So, uh, they when they heard the do not fear now. From now on, you will be catching men. Then they, uh, after they brought their boat to the land and they left everything and followed him. That is apostles. The another, so many disciples and the followers and the multitude uh, accompany Jesus and they followed Jesus. But 
apostle, 12 apostles left everything and follow him. And other disciples, they heard and they did their work. So sometimes they went back home and some people wrote book like a Luke and the, what is the other uh, Mark. They are they are not a uh, they are not in the twelve apostle, but they have a great honor to uh, leave a record on Jesus' public lives and public ministry. It was great honor. So, what kind of calling are you receiving? So, I am calling. <laughs> I have calling from God like this to uh, study the Bible with you. That is a great honor for me. He called me and then even though I'm not good enough, but by his grace and then I have courage to uh, read it together and think over and, and the ponder the meaning of the word, each uh, word and the verse by verse, word by word like this. That is great honor for me. And you will also be uh, used by God for the, the great, great ministry, great mission. And then your mission will be your mission trip and the field will be open when you are ready to share the word of God uh, and beauty of holiness. Yeah. While he was in one of the city, behold, there was a man covered with the leprosy. And when he saw Jesus, he fell on his face and implored him, saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Yeah. I love his uh, confession. Very humble. Jesus uh, was uh, uh, touring, circulating, and then he was visiting so many towns. Uh, he did not stay in one city. But he, after he delivered the message and he moved to the, another city like this, he, when he was in one of the city, another city, they, behold, there was a man covered with lepers. Let's think about his image. This man covered with lepers. Can you match? This man with uh, your situation, I think I'm covered with the leprosy, all kind of a filthiness and all kind of suffering, all kind of depression, all kind of distress. I'm covered with, <laughs> sorry, I'm covered with the kind of worldly things and then worldly oppression. How pity we are, right? So we are. Mm, we are the same. We are not different from this man. We are the same situation. We are women. We are women or men covered with uh, uh, leprosy. What kind of leprosy? And not be cured. So, where's the uh, Unfilthy drainage comes out of his old skin from the face to the toe. Yes, all kinds of sticky water and the drain drainage comes out of, of his skin. How pity! That's why this that is our image, I think. When he saw Jesus, wow, it's wonderful, perfect timing, right? He felt, what did he 
do when he saw Jesus? We, uh, we should, you should meet God in due time when you find him, when he is found, bound. Uh, when uh, we find the right timing of meeting Jesus or meeting God. So at as soon as we see Jesus, we should uh, fall on his, our face and implore him. Yes. Uh, he didn't hide. <clears throat> he didn't withdraw because of his uh, filthy state, his uh, leprous state. So many people, all people uh, escape from the kind of a leprosy people. <clears throat> And even though uh, he did not mm, turn back from his uh, uh, unlucky situation, he fell on his face and directly implored him, when you Meditate what of God when you pray. That God uh, gives you a kind of a spirit, then you can feel the time. Ah, oh, God is answering me. You can feel that is the right, the perfect timing uh, that you will be able to implore directly God. Oh Lord, please serve this person with my own effort, with my own. Ability with my own reach, I cannot make me clean. Oh, uh, what he constant, the only what is constant that he had was uh, to be cleansed. Yes, if you are willing. Very humble word. If you are willing, not just please hear me. Oh Lord, please hear me. He didn't do it like this. Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. He acknowledged Jesus have power to. Make him clean. He exactly know. He cannot hear him stop. But the Lord Jesus, if he is willing, he has confidence. He will be able to make him clean. Yes, this kind of confession and this kind of humble faith and broken heart is needed to receive the grace of being cleansed by God. By Jesus. We have to fall on our face with a humble heart and with a broken heart. Because he was ignored and he was in disgrace through his life because he is a leper. How pitiful, right? We are pitiful. We are simple. We are unclean. But if you Jesus is real, you will make us come. Yes. We will be helped by this kind of faith and compassion. And he stretched 
out his hand and touch him, saying, I am really be cleansed. And immediately the leprosy left him. Yes. Jesus stretched out his hand. So no one want to touch the leper, the leprosy on persons who has a disease with the leprosy, right? But how did the uh, do to rapper? Jesus stretched his hand and touched him. Oh, it is not easy, right? But Jesus touched him. It means enormous grace was upon that kind of person who has leprosy. But not only that kind of touching, but also his word is so increasing and uh, loving kind, full of loving kindness. I am really be cleansed. Be cleansed. This one is a passive form. We cannot make ourselves uh, clean. This is not the active form. This is the passive form. We should be cleansed by God, by Jesus. No one can cleanse us. Even we cannot cleanse ourselves. Just outwardly, just physically, we can wash with water. But even though they kind of a leper, how much, how many times they wash their skin with water? Just imagine, they want to be cleansed, right? They want to get out of the kind of filthy leprosy disease. If they could cleanse their leper with water, but he couldn't do, but he couldn't. But with Jesus' word, he could be cleansed. The leper could be cleansed. Yeah, because why? Jesus was really, I am really be cleansed. We will be cleansed. When we fell down at his feet and with a humble heart, with a broken heart, when we implore, Jesus, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. We, when we confess like this, we will be cleansed from all kind of a filthy. Defiled uh, with worldly things, worldly greed, worldly ambition. And immediately the leprosy left him. Yes. The unclean spirit left the person the, on the chapter. But this time also, the leprosy left him. The fever left him. Yes, when we resist the devil, then the devil will free from you. It is written in the uh, New Testament also. I cannot uh, remember the exact part. But Jesus commands us to resist the devil. So we can also resist, but by the, in another way, by the grace of God, by the grace of Jesus, and by his word, we will be cleansed. We can be cleansed. And then the disease, all kind of unclean spirit, will leave us and we will be cleansed. We will dwell 
and cleanness and purity. Because our God is willing, and our God has power to heal us. And then we will be cleansed. And he ordered him to tell no one, but go and show yourself to the priest and make an offering for your cleansing, just as Moses commanded as a testimony to them. Jesus ordered him to tell no one. And then, but that the Jewish people has a tradition and then law given by Moses. The go and show yourself to the priest. It is written uh, how to do, what to do uh, for the people to be cleansed. Then they should be checked by priest because the, the uh, authority was uh, given to the priest group through Moses by God. And then the priest can check that this uh, with the disease or this, uh, mm, what is the leper can, what is the, uh, is it clean or not? They check and then they prove themselves that they are fully cleansed and then they should make an offering for their cleansing. That is kind of kind of testimony, testimony to them. So just as Moses commanded, but the news about him was spreading even farther. And the large crowds were gathering to hear him and to be healed of their sicknesses. Yes. How can the news be blocked? Because the word without leg uh, spread further. Yes. So the news about him, Jesus, the news about Jesus was spreading even farther and the as a crowd were gathering to what to do what to hear him yes and to be healed of their sickness yeah to hear jesus and to be healed yeah these are two kind of uh, purpose of gathering is are very important right we are gathering here to hear God's message and to be healed that we may uh, be cleansed and do may to remain in healthy condition in body and in spirit. So even our body is healthy, but our mentally and spiritually, if we have a problem, are we are is normal? No, we are in a very poor condition, right? So we should be healed mentally, spiritually, physically, socially. We should remain and keep our heart yeah, healthy. All in all areas. So we should be healed. We should be healed through hearing his loving kindness message. I am willing to be cleansed. We have to hear the kind of his voice. But Jesus himself would often slip away to the wilderness and pray. Yes. After he did wondrous sign 
on the paper, just as uh, healing the paper, cast out demons like this, and uh, giving a wonderful warming heart message. And then he himself would often would draw from the multitude to the wilderness. For what to do? Yes. He want to have time to pray in a lonely place without any hindrance of a multitude. Even though he had the wonderful power and by given by God, but he always have time to meditate and uh, deep communion and the uh, conversation with God, yeah, by himself, all alone. Yes, only with God. He want to meet God. Even though he is the son of God, he has all authority and all power, but he withdrew from the multitude to the desert places to pray. We have to learn. We have to learn. One day, he was teaching, and there was some Pharisees and teachers of the law sitting there who had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and from Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was present for him to perform healing. Yeah. One day he was teaching. Can you notice? Wherever he goes, what does he do? What was he doing? He is always teaching. That is his good, good example. He is giving a message to us right now. He is teaching, teaching wherever he goes. is teaching, teaching. I ready to teach? Diligently. Read the word of God. And feed you with God's word. And you should be rich in his word. Then you will be uh, Ritually teaching, like Jesus. And there were some Pharisees and teachers of the law sitting there. Who are the Pharisees and teachers of law? They are noble, highly educated person like you, who communicate in English, Pakistan. They are your very intelligent group and an educated group that you have a social stage. So, Paris's teachers of the law are that kind of person. They are well educated, they are good at the law, and they are, have honor and then social state. So, they are respected by the people, the ordinary people. But they are, they heard about Jesus, and they came to, to see and hear him, Jesus, doing something. They want to see, and then they were from every village of Galilee and the Judea and Jerusalem. And then while they were doing, uh, Jesus, that when Jesus was teaching, what happened? The power of the Lord was present for him to for, perform healing. Yes. When we teach, when we teach, the power of the Lord should be present for us to perform healing. 
Can we perform that kind of healing? Of course, we have a word, the power of a word. When we speak with confidence, and then the Holy Spirit will come upon us when we teach, when we share the word of God, when we speak out the God's word and that the word has power. Yes, we have to experience the power of the word, the power of the Lord who is present for us when we perform healing. What kind of healing? We are the physician, spiritual physician. We are doctor, spiritual doctor. We have authority. When we have a full confidence of God's word, we are a spiritual physician. We can heal. No, God can heal through us when we speak, when we teach. We are not the right author to do that kind of with the healing power. Only God has the power of healing people. Then we are the messenger when we deliver when we teach his word and then the word coming out of our mouth, that word has power because the word is God's word. When we deliver God's word, the power of the Lord will be present. Yes. Yes. I was caught in depression because of my the business. And I was deceived by so many people. So my fortune, I lost so many fortunes, great quantity of fortunes. I'm suffering the kind of deception. But through this Friday evening's gathering and the sharing the word of God, the grace and then healing and then joy and then uh, gladness comes upon me and cover me. That is the power of the Lord. This is the testimony. This is a proof that the word has power to heal people. Yeah, I'm also healed. I want to be healed because I already experienced that kind of healing. That when I share the word of God, when I teach the word of God, the power of the Lord, the power of the healing word is present with us. We have confidence. We will be healed first. And then the kind of healing power overflow, overflow through us, to the people, to the neighbors. To, to those who hear the message the, spoken by our mouths. Yeah, very important part. And some men were carrying on a bed. Oh, I think oh, we should be uh, stop here. That That is... Uh, from the 18 uh, is another healing uh, the part that God's, uh, the Jesus performing healing so on another person. So we'd better stop here and pray together. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for wonderful time with the uh, uh, Pakistan paper. Yes, Lord. You revealed how Jesus shared his message, how he teach, while he was teaching, the power of the Lord was present for him to perform Yes, Lord, we want to have that kind of experience and the testimony that we, when we teach the word of God to 
those around us. Yes, Lord. The, the leper who was uh, suffering with the unfilthiness. Yes, his humble heart and broken heart. He come, he came to Jesus and fell on his face at his at Jesus' knee and feet. He employed like this. Oh Lord, if you are really, you can make me clear. Graciously, our Lord Jesus, he stretched his hand and touched the leper and with the comforting and the powerful healing word, I am really be cleansed. Yes, Lord, we want to be cleansed by your word and by your touch. Please lay your hands upon us that we may be healed. We may receive the kind of power of healing spiritually, physically, mentally, socially, and then financially. Yes, Lord, we want to be healed by you. Yes. Put out into the deep water and let down your net for a catch. Yes, we want to be a fisher of men to catch spirit, to catch men, to attach the kind of a poor, poor person to graceful God. Yes, Lord, we want to be used by you. We want to be called by you. We, When we teach, when we share the word of God, let us be wise, just as Jesus did, was. Yes, he searched and he uh, he watched and then he searched how to make use of atmosphere and the resources around him. Just as he wisely evangelized, delivered the word of a message, we want to evangelize and teach effectively, efficiently in, on, in the beauty of holiness, not vainly, without direction. Just we have a, a right mind and we want to be guided. We want to be directed. We want to be led by your wisdom. We, we want to lean on your wisdom. Oh Lord, give us wisdom. Yes, Lord, give us boldness, give us faith. Yes, Lord, that we may, uh, with confidence, with the boldness, deliver your message and preach your word to the people. Yes, Lord, giving thanks to the Lord in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining today. Oh, it's only one minute. <laughs> I want to hear you from you. Uh, I'm sorry. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, I am Adria from Karachi, Pakistan. 